What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. We are RB Power from Corfu, Greece. My name is Stelios. Uh, I figured we'd do a quick introduction for those of you that are new here. Um, and yes, we are speaking in English, living in Greece, but we'll get to that in a later video once uh, Mr. Jim gets here. So for those of you that have been keeping up with us, we um, just recently acquired, about a couple months ago, a 2001 NB Miata, and as you guys saw in the last video, which I can post a quick link about that in the description, uh, we've been making some drastic changes. It started its life off as an NB1, and in the last video I explained what was been done to the car, so you guys can check that out there. And today we are going to be installing a Cybolt V3 roll bar. Uh, it's going to be fun, to say the least. Sorry about that. For those of you that are in Greece know about the papaki on the scooters. <laughs> so we're gonna be taking on the challenge of installing this. It's definitely a bit of work. You have to remove the soft top, drill a bunch of holes, but it's gonna be worth it, especially for those of you that have been to a country like Greece, you know how, I mean, mountainous and scary, honestly, some of these roads can be. So I definitely wanted to get something that's like been proven that is very sturdy and strong. And I mean, I'm not saying a roll bar, you know, is a, like a you know full drag spec cage or a drift spec cage, but it'll knock on wood, prevent something from ever happening. So we're gonna tackle that and then kind of show you guys something that happened that absolutely blew my mind. So I think we're gonna show you first what happened. And then I'm only gonna get snippets of us installing this because it's gonna be very time consuming, but I will explain what needs to be done. And then we'll go from there and get to the finished product. Thanks for checking in. All right, so before we get into the roll bar install, I figured we'd show you guys real quick from the outside what it looks like. This will not be the color that it's staying. It's gonna be getting painted uh, like a GT silver to match the wheels and kind of go with the scheme of the car. But here it is. I mean, this thing weighs, I think they said it was like 40 pounds or like 38 pounds. I mean, it's a it's a legit roll bar. It's very nicely done. Quality of the welds, the gussets there are super nice. So shout out to these guys. Obviously, those of you that have never seen the car, here's the Miata. So here's what I wanted to show, which I might have to turn the flash on. So I've recently found out that the Miatas The Miatas are notorious for crank wobble, crank pulley wobbles. Now, <laughs> as you can see there, the rest of my crank pulley is gone. Thank God the main part of it's still in place and, you know, didn't cause any further damage. The motor is completely fine. The motor still runs, turns on. But yesterday, or the day before, I should say, we were driving, took the car to the car wash, wanted to rinse it off because it had some crappy weather uh, the last couple days. And all of a sudden, I lose power steering. And I'm thinking to myself, how did that happen? So next thing you know, we pull into a gas station, I see water just, you know, puking out everywhere. And at first, I thought it was power steering fluid because the car has a water water mixture in it, and it kind of looked like a hydraulic fluid. Upon further looking at it, I hear the motor running, but I don't see the steering wheel turning right. I'm noticing my temps go up and that's when I noticed that the portion of the crank pulley that fell off was still spinning, which I'll post a clip about that. And I just, I was like, oh my God, I thought I blew up the car. Thank God I didn't, I shut it off, I yank it off. We were literally right where that red building is. It's just a snake up to the road. Made it home, no problem, parked it. And shout out to our friend at Mazda Parts by Antipos in Athens. This guy is the man. If you guys need anything Mazda, especially MX-5 related, he is your guy. This dude has everything. Everything you see on this car besides the wheels are from him. So big shout out to him for setting that out. That should be in tomorrow. And yeah, so luckily we saved the motor. Everything was fine, no overheating, but just crazy how that happened. First thing we need to do in order to get this roll bar, roll bar in, excuse me, is remove the seats. Then we need to remove the, kind of like the, that back carpet there in the trunk. Uh, I'm gonna remove that and put the top back up and then that's when we start removing the soft top. Um, I'm gonna show you guys though how bad this top is. So yeah, this, uh, this top has seen better days. Granted, it's not fully bolted up, but the goal is to install the roll bar and then we're gonna make our own custom bikini top. Now, I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with the bikini top. It's essentially like a leather fabric, whatever you wanna make it out of like a cool kind of like, I 
guess, I don't, like a bikini top, really. You can kind of make brackets that either go in the place here or you can make custom bolts that kind of go in the weather stripping. Goes over the cage and then it comes down to like two hook straps that go to a long bolt here. It looks really, really cool. I plan on anyways in the winter getting a hard top for this car because it does get very cold and rains a lot here. And I do drive this car pretty much every day. I don't want to deal with soft top issues anymore because realistically these go bad every couple of years and I don't want to keep dealing with it and spending the money because you'd rather just spend let's just say a thousand bucks get it over with rather than okay another couple hundred for a soft top all the time and effort to do it or pay somebody to do it because this is a very difficult job to do where you know you just buy a hard top you put it on hey I want to take it off pull it off put it in a corner so we're gonna get to it because I've never done this before and hopefully it's not gonna take all day, but we'll see what happens. Okay, so as stated before, we're gonna start off by taking out the seats. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a vacuum cleaner here, so I can't clean all this out, but I think I'm gonna to try to bring one portable from work. A portable one from work, I should say, sorry. And then get it cleaned up. So now, we're gonna start the process of removing this top. I've never done this. Out of all the stuff I've done with cars, I've never removed a Miata top, and I've owned, this is my, personally, my fourth Miata. And luckily all my previous ones have never needed tops, but this one's pretty much gonna test my knowledge now. So I guess let's just get into it and see, see what we can do. All right, so before anybody gets at me for cutting this, the defroster, I actually just saw down here that's completely rotted out. So instead of trying to like, you know, properly disconnect it, we're just gonna cut it out and save ourselves a bunch of time because unfortunately the rain and everything is really taking a toll on this and all the times I wash the car. So, that's my dog barking. Party. So here is the underside of that carpet. Ah, uh, man, this is bad. I mean, it's not bad, but it just, it looks worse than it actually is, especially on camera. So we're gonna clean this up, and I believe next is taking this plate off here. That's what's gonna allow the cage to drop in place, and then we have to remove the stock seatbelt brackets. I believe, oops, I believe the seatbelt is gonna go in place here. So I might need help here, but we'll see right now. Luckily, my wife's here, so see what we can do. Okay, so if you wanna come check this out, we got basically all the outer liner out and then the three metal brackets there that kind of hold the leather portion in place. Oh man. Okay, luckily just dirt. Um, so next, we have to take this big plastic piece off essentially where the seat belt sits. Once that's out, then there's two more bolts that hold the top, the whole top will come out. And then from there, if I remember correctly, like I showed you guys earlier, this metal bracket will come out and that's when we start drilling holes in the car for the, the, the roll bar. So yeah, it's kind of a pain in the ass if you're by yourself, but luckily Caitlin is here. So let's, uh, let's get a move on. can see we have it essentially in place where it's going to be bolted it's kind of hard to see if you come here there's a section right here that bolts into the stock seatbelt portion right there that needs to be pushed in now we have to kind of cut out the surrounding area here for that to go back but 
yeah, so I don't think you guys are gonna wanna see cutting, so we're gonna cut that real quick. I'll show the spots we cut and then we'll go from there. All right, so here is the, I'd say 90% completion, the, the almost finished product. For the most part, the roll bar is essentially done. We just have to finish, like I said, the two back holes. And then get the new tonneau cover slash carpet for back here so that way all that can be tucked in nicely because these are currently sitting where they should be, but the problem is the soft top no longer there. There's that opening. So, yeah. Sorry, all these scooters coming by today, but really hyped on all the fitment. I'm gonna trim all that up a lot nicer and then maybe put some rubber like sealing there so that way it kind of fills in the gaps. And then eventually here the buckle's gonna go there so that'll be hidden and then again the cover. And then tomorrow we are gonna work on the crank pulley. We're gonna get that installed so we can get this baby back on the road. Once that's all mocked up and finished then we gotta pull it back out, paint it silver, let that sit for a couple days. Now that it's hot out, let it bake stall it back in and good to go i am very very happy with this install and big thank you to caitlin and speedo for helping me out all right guys so here we are um these plastic pieces by the way are an absolute pain in the ass i had to cut it all with a straight edge razor i still haven't put this back side on and this is all extremely temporary so the problem is i don't have the tools to finish this at home I was able to get, show you guys on this side, out. I was able to get the six in total, the three big inner bolts, so 17, 17, and then two 12s on the bottom. And then I have, um, oh my God, I forgot the word. I basically, <laughs> I can't remember the word when you, uh, when you make a pre-hole with a hammer. Long story short, I pre-drilled these holes that go back here, but I don't have a big enough drill or bits, unfortunately, here. But luckily at work, I can finish this. But I mean, just from this alone, the whole car shakes with this, which is incredible. So once I bolt down these last two bolts, I mean, this thing's so bolted in. Then just gotta get the plastic piece that goes here. And then eventually from Top Miata, they sell this really nice replacement carpet for cars that no longer run the soft top. We're gonna put like a nice diamond stitch carpet that literally fills in all of that gap and all of this here that's pre-cut and made for roll bar cars. And then eventually when all goes well, the bikini top and then hard top for the winter because I don't drive this car when it's crappy weather. I don't even care if the top's down because it's always down. Even though I did say in my last video that it's always up, I take that back, it's always down. But this thing looks super sick, and I mean, it's a serious roll bar. And once it's painted, because the goal is to get everything mocked up, get it fitted where it needs to fit. Man, that thing's sick. <laughs> get it all fitted where it needs to fit, and then we're gonna take it back out, and then me and Spiro here. What up, Ezo? We're gonna sand it and we're gonna paint it, like I said, the same color as the wheels, which I'm so excited about because this thing looks super sick and I can't wait to really get this thing going. All right, so next day, uh, it's very hot out to say the least. Uh, we're at work right now. And I figured since we pretty much finished everything that has to do with the roll bar, roll bar install, it wasn't really worth it for me to record just me tapping in the two holes and bolting down the back two bolts that were left. Um, so I decided I'm going to end the video here and then we're going to keep the new um, crank pulley install separate because unfortunately I'm still waiting for that to get here through shipping. I think it should be here today. I hope it gets here today because I need to get my car back on the road because I'm currently driving uh, Mr. Jim's new daily, which I don't want to drive around until he gets here. So as always, I wanted to thank you guys for tuning in and make sure to like and subscribe. And if you guys like what you see, let us know in the comments what else you want to see. And of course, once the cars get here, we're really going to be pushing for more. And again, thank you guys for always supporting us. It means more than you'll ever know. So we'll see you on the next one.